Welcome back to LearnWire. In this video, we will be looking at Ubersuggest and comparing it to Seodity. Seodity is a tool that I picked up from AppSumo, and I'm pretty sure it's not available anymore. I'm not actually going to go and just double check. Let's see here. The deal is unavailable. So yeah, but this is a tool that was on the platform for a while and it recently left the platform. The deal uh, is over essentially. And so we're going to compare these two tools because many of us use both tools already had Uber suggest and so forth. So well, let's get started. So right here, this is Uber suggest. It is a tool developed by Neil Patel. And if you know, are following anything about ranking websites, social media, or SEO, you've probably heard of Neil Patel. If you come up here, and we go and check similar web. He's getting five and a half million visitors to his website, Uber suggest or neilpatel.com per month. So he's pretty much killing it. And we can come over here and check Seodity. And I'm, it's not, if when it doesn't pull up, it doesn't have a whole lot of data, but we can come over here and I'll just type in similar web over here. Sometimes it just, it just doesn't pull up on the tool yet to come and bring, go to the actual website to check it out. And I just like to do this to see kind of a comparison, you know, where these guys are at right now. Right now they're at about 36,000. And we know that the tool is inaccurate, but I mean, it's going to be inaccurate for the giant site, Neil Patel site as well. So that he's probably getting closer to 6 million or more. And this site, if we were being really generous, they might be, COD might be getting about 100,000 visitors per month, but really, really tiny, brand new site, obviously. But let's go and see what these tools can do. You can actually come over to the home page and you can sign, you can do a couple of free searches a day or you can sign up for an account. And we can go over here to the pricing real quick on the Uber Suggest. I'm gonna do the same thing over here with COD. I'm just gonna go over to pricing and we'll go look at that in a sec. Um, I'm gonna come down here, pay subscriptions, me too. My competitors, Mozzie, Ahrefs, and SEMrush charge $950 to $9,900 a year. So I decided to try this crazy lifetime offer. It's 90% cheaper than the competitor pricing, blah, blah, blah. So you can click over here to lifetime. You can get the $290 one right here for entrepreneurs and small businesses managing one website, small to medium businesses managing four to seven websites right here. And I believe the pricing might have gone up because I, I, I'm not sure if I'm on the individual or the business account, but I want to feel like I paid like 300 and something for my account. So it would have been more of the, and I have more than one site that it's managing. So I am imagining that I'm on the business account here, but I do have a lifetime deal. I do recommend picking this up. There is no affiliate program that I'm aware of, so I'm not going to get paid any money for recommending Uber Sug Suggest to you, but I do think it is a really good tool. We're going to come through here, enterprise and so forth. You're going to get more things that you can download and, and such. They do a lot of comparisons. I, I do think that they're comparing to the, the top dogs over here. So that's really good. And eventually they're going to take you down this road and just basically explain to you that this is a better tool for the money than you're going to get anywhere else. Okay. Um, so that is the lifetime deal offers, which is super, super cool. I'm going to go back over here to monthly and you can start a plan at $29 a month, $49 a month or 99. So even at their highest level, managing eight plus websites and for agencies, you're only going to spend $99, which is the lowest price tier for Ahrefs where you're very limited. You're going to get the maximum amount of this tool for just $99 a month. So, or you can just pay one time thousand bucks, boom, done. And this can be your SEO tool going forward. COD, we're going to come through here and they do not have the, the cheapest pricing. Actually, you have a bronze plan right here. I'm not going to really go into depth of the, the different things you get for the, I'm just kind of looking on, on the surface of the different levels and what, what, what the price is. You know, I'm kind of surprised. This is pretty pricey stuff that they've got here. You know, I mean, just in comparison, when we're going to look at pricing, hands down, Uber suggest wins when it comes to pricing. I mean, you're looking at just a silver tier. You're at $150 a month right here and then $300 a month and $400 a month. I'm not seeing any kind of annual discount. If you pay annually, they should give you a nice 30% off or something like that. So you're looking at $89 for the bronze plan right here. 
just pretty pretty interesting right there, right? That they already jumped to that pricing once they left the platform. This will be interesting of what they do with their marketing plan to get people to sign up at that price level. You know, and, and I'll just be completely honest, guys. I'm, I'm going to have a little bit of a bias. I own both tools, okay? I bought Seodity, right? And, I, and, and to be honest, I haven't really used it a whole lot. But just to, you know, point out, and I'll have a little bit of bias because I really, really like Uber Suggest. I think it's a great tool if you're a beginner marketer, beginner at SEO, trying to rank websites. This tool, there, you know, he's getting six million visitors a month, and people. This is a, a major tool in the industry. Besides, you know, Ahrefs and SEMrush, this is one of those tools that comes to mind for many people. It's it's in that conversation. Seodity is not in that conversation. Most people don't know about Seodity. Okay, so in, in, in any sense, Uber Suggest could actually. They've taken the you know, cheaper angle, like pricing their, their stuff at a, a more affordable. That was the whole point. He wanted to provide a good tool for people and not have them pay so much for the tools. And so that's why his pricing is intentionally set much lower. I just wanted to point that out. I believe they might've had $10 plans, but the price has gone up, but still it's, it's better pricing than what you're going to find with most tools. And I think that once we get into <clears throat> demonstration, you're going to see, wow, you, you get a lot of keywords and a lot of research and a lot of data with Uber suggest. So let's go jump into the tools real quick. I'm not really sure the best way if I should be jumping back and forth or not. Let me just do a quick overview of what you can do in Uber suggest. Then we'll go into CO2D, do the same thing. And then if there's time, I'll do maybe some comparisons back and forth a little bit <clears throat> and then kind of like a final thought. So let's uh, cruise so I can try to not make this video too long. These are some really big SEO tools, so it is going to be difficult to get through just a, a comparison video without just being really, you know, on the surface level and, you know, spending five minutes in each tool. I could do that. Absolutely could, but that's just not the way that I do my videos. All right. So you can see that I'm, man, I'm, I've got realistic pay in here. <clears throat> you guys have seen that's one of my sites. And it's going to have some different things like there's 87 pages that have multiple meta description tags. So that would be a no, no, I need to fix that stuff. And when you put your site into many SEO tools and doing an audit, it's going to, they're all going to find different things, right? They're all going to have different numbers. They all run off of a different algorithm and a measurement tool. So sometimes I just take this stuff with a grain of salt. Now there is a new content feature over here, which is cool. You can actually go through this and create a new piece of content, but I already have this exact. So what I found about this right here is that this, um, it finds stuff that you've already done. Now it's telling me that I should optimize this page over here. That's cool. So they have introduced different tools. And you can see it kind of keeps up quick tabs on your backlinks right here on page SEO score. It's telling me I have great SEO score what your estimated traffic value is, keyword rankings, and so forth. I'm going to click on this one just to see what this does. So how to buy commercial property with no money down. It's going to help you. And they they also have an AI generator and stuff here. I'm not going to, you guys can leave a comment below if you want me to kind of test out the AI writer and stuff, but I'm not going to really do that in this video, but they certainly are, are getting into more uh, tools and even offering an AI writer in here. So made a description, made a title and headline generators, what it looks like they have. But this tells me we're creating a new page from scratch, start, but, but like I said, we already have this page on the site, so it's really not suggesting a new content idea. So I think they do need to still get better at what this tool is offering. So that's what your dashboard is when you log in. And you can switch between projects right here, which is really cool. You can go to another site right there as well. So that's really cool. Now they have a rank tracker. I believe that you get like a hundred keywords of rank tracking. So it'll get you started for your first site. But if you're doing multiple sites, you're going to have to graduate over to, you know, something else I've been using this over here. It's called SERP robot and it is super insane, amazing pricing. You can put tags for if you've created your content and so forth. So I'm, there's, I don't believe there's an affiliate program for this either. I wish there was because I, I definitely recommend SERP robot. That's what I've been using. Even though I have all these SEO tools that come with keyword stuff, I'm actually using and paying for SERP robot because just the the way that you're able to track your keywords and have full customization over it. And you know, it's going it, to, it's, it's just the most advanced tracker that I've seen. So, and then you can just quickly move to different projects and so forth. So really cool stuff. 
Okay, so we're back over here, and then you're going to see all the different, you know, uh, right there. You, so you can pause the screen and see what I'm ranking for. Super cool stuff. I was going to tell you kind of where you started off, where you're at, uh, how many you have in your top three, top ten. So it's actually got a pretty good, it's got a pretty good tracker. It's easy to add keywords. You just push the plus button. It's going to find some where you should be affiliate programs that pay daily. I don't believe I'm ranking for that one anymore. I might have had some negative SEO done to me because once I showed this, I showed this to on my video and I actually ranked it to like number 14 or something like that. And then it fell off and I, it hasn't gotten its ranking back, but it's going to find some that it thinks that you should track. Otherwise you can put your keyword in over here or you can import from a CSV or copy and paste. And then you just push start tracking. Super cool. And then another thing you can come down here to trending. You can actually drop down and it's going to give you a nice graph right here of where you're at as well. Really cool stuff. So the train, the rank tracking is, is really good. Chrome extension I've never actually used. You can add this and what is it going to do? It's going to give you paid and organic analytics related keywords such suggestions, traffic overview, domain authority, backlinks. I should, I should actually install this. I'm actually going to go install this so we can check it out real quick because I've been using the Moz tool over here, but if this is going to do the same thing, because I know that it pulls the same domain authority, DA rank, ranking then, because I have trouble with Moz always having to go in like to, it doesn't, you can't just click this and then it works. It just doesn't work like that. And so I'm going to actually go and install this real quick so I can show it to you guys. Okay, perfect. So, and then you get these metrics too, with even keywords everywhere. So like I have keywords everywhere right here. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. I'm going to refresh, but you can see this is what you actually get. I'm going to refresh this. You, this is the, the Chrome extension right here. You've got Uber suggest right here. And then let's see, I don't have the white pro. I'm not really sure, but it is giving me the domain authority of the site, the estimated visits, a Pinterest, Facebook, and it's giving me the number of uh, unique referring domains. This URL has right here. And then he even has some, some drop down right there. So actually pretty cool stuff. Really the DA is, is a big thing. And then the backlinks <clears throat> is what I like to look at. And so that is another option that you'll have is this checker right here. And I like, it just loads really good and we don't have to worry about turning on and off and all that stuff. It just seems like it works better than the actual Moz extension. And it was really easy to install. It looks like it has about four stars out of 203 reviews, 400,000 users are using it and so forth. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of that. We'll back in here to the tool. I'm going to keep cru cruising down. So we have a site audit. I tried to, I did one right before this on one of my sites. I put lose weight report in there and so forth. So it's saying my on page score is an 86 great organic traffic. Yes. Yeah, not getting a lot of traffic, organic keywords and backlinks. So it does it in, it's like relative to the size of your, your blog, because you're going to see blogs that are getting hundreds of thousands of visits, but, it, but in context with the amount of pages and the age and the authority that it has, it might actually say that the traffic is not that good or something like that, right? So in context with this being an extremely small site, it's it's saying that we actually are doing pretty good on these metrics and this site's probably prime or pruned to to move forward and and actually try to to build it up even further. It's going to say a low, it's going to do a load time test for you and looks like everything is in a good range. We've got a really fast website all in green right and so forth, right? So that's really good. We can actually check oh right here we can check a mobile and it was bad on mobile. And you know what? I got to be honest, guys. The I have a couple of these sites that are installed with the Akabato theme from Project 24. I even have on one of my sites WP Rocket installed, and I'm still not able to pull fast numbers on mobile time. And so it might actually be time to retire my Akabato th WordPress theme and get something better and faster. So that's a project that I'm probably going to be having to implement because no matter what I've done, I've gotten rid of almost all my, my plugins on one of my sites and I still can't pull a good load time for mobile. And so that's just not going to be good enough, right? Cause since like 60% or 70% of searches are on mobile. So, um, this is really cool that it gives you this nice pulse. It is going to give you your issues right here. You can see the SEO issues right here. It's going to tell you difficulty, modern, easy, like to fix, you know, these things, maybe on the ones that are difficult. If I can find some that are difficult, they're all moderate. So like right here, hard might have to, and we're okay right here, zero pages with no content compression enabled. So we're looking pretty good there. Here's the major issues. And it's actually saying that these are just meta description tags. It's easy. So I could go in here and just use this tool to fix my technical SEO. That's all issues. We can go to critical issues need to be fixed. There's three right here. Then we have warnings right here. 
and then we have recommendations right here. So really good stuff. We're going to move on to the keywords section and you can see <clears throat> there's one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to go, you always start off with keyword overview and, and I already have something loaded in here. That's cool. Camp once I'm going to search again, just to make sure. And then we'll use the camping, the word camping for our next one as well. It's going to give us these stats over here. It's going to say that it has a, you know, obviously a major seasonality trend. And what I like to do is come through. It's going to be the top pages and everything, but view all keyword ideas right here. And it's going to pull a ton of keywords. And that's where I think Uber suggests is one of the best tools, period, because it's pulling in right here under related. Now, this is a more simple tool than a lot of, and I think it's a great comparison to COTD, which I think is very, very simple. It's actually even more simple than this. But when we're talking about SEMrush and we're talking about Ahrefs, the the learning curve is 10x more than even uber suggests right because right here there's only a couple filter options right we can filter by volume we can filter by difficult keyword difficulty cost per click and then we can put a keyword filter either an include or exclude and then we can export and that's that's it we don't really have another way of like filtering this down so you're not really going to be able to do too much filtering and there's also not a ton of columns so it's more of an but so it's it's less information but that can be a good thing especially for beginners you're still going to be able to get enough out of the tool because now if you hook your site up to this and you're doing relevancy you can actually go to page one ranking potential and click on that as well but see if it's putting in one of my sites about making money then really we're, we shouldn't be ranking for anything with the keyword camping, but it's going to pull keywords that it thinks that you can rank for, right? So I'm going to go back to all. That is a cool feature. Haven't used it much though, but what you're really going to be able to do in here is, you know, for a new site, maybe you want to focus on from 10 to maybe 800. You can get custom, right? And then maybe you want to come through here and you want to go, you can just easily select easy. And that's what I usually like to do. And then if you want profitable keywords, you could also go with that. But I'm just going to look right here at what we have. So we have now 149,000. So the only problem is, so with my plan, I think I can only pull out about 2,000 keywords. And there's no way to do any further filtering, right? So that was that's one of the things that's difficult about this. These tools, they limit the export factor. And that's what makes it challenging because what if we want to do more analysis right here? We need more filters to be able to kind of filter down some things. But it does put this into different categories here, questions, prepositions, and comparisons, and so forth, right? So you could actually, if you wanted to, I would probably recommend if you still have a massive keyword list right here, you might want to just go in here and just say, we're going to go from zero to 10 and maybe look at extremely easy keywords that are from 10 to 800. And now we're talking, there's still 76,000 keywords in here. So you can even go further. Now, what's really cool is you can come in here and this is what makes this tool for keyword research shine is you're able to come through here on the, on any keyword and push the search results. And it's going to pull the uh, data for you. The average is 84 backlinks, domain authority of 24. So really with the domain authority, I don't know why it's saying 24. There seems some, to be some pretty high domain authorities right there, but this is where you can come in here and analyze and do all that kind of top 10 competitor research. You're able to look at these very quickly and be like, oh, do you think I could rank for that? It is a seven SEO score. It does have a cost per click. And then it's going to basically tell you like right here, there's a DA of 18 right here, 21 links. And it just gives you a nice, you're able to decide if this is a keyword that you want to go for or not. So I think keyword research is really, really good, but you just kind of have to know that you that it, it's limited on the way that you can filter the keywords, right? And you can just uh, export this. You can add these keywords to a list as well, which is really, really cool. Keywords by traffic, similar websites. You know, if, if you can put in the website and get similar websites, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of kind of try to cruise through this. I know this is going to get long. I need to get into the SEO today as well. Content ideas, we can go through here. And we've got camping selected right here. It's going to go over the top pages and, and what's getting shared the most on social media for your keyword. So that's really an awesome feature right there as well. We have keyword lists right here. So that's cool. You have all these different lists and keywords you can save inside of the tool. I really like that. 
you can go traffic overview and this is a great way to look at websites i just put one of my websites in here lose weight report but this is where you can actually see the traffic which is cool always take this with a grain of salt i find it's usually four to ten times more traffic than than what it's measuring it just does not have the resources or the ability to pull uh, traffic unless you you know no one has access to your your google analytics tracker but definitely it's a lot less it's always a lot less than than what it's saying but it's still going to tell you like i mean obviously if a site's getting a hundred thousand visits on uber suggest you know it's getting two or three hundred thousand visits per month and so it still is <clears throat> in relative relative relatively going to still track that for you and give you a good idea where the traffic and the keywords are you have these nice charts and you can just see where the site's at. Is it on a plateau? Is it on a decline or incline and so forth, right? And the top pages for a site, it's going to share all that information. So you can do a lot of competitor analysis inside this tool. You can go in and check out backlinks as well. It's going to pull that one up. We have a DA of 10 referring domains, 140 backlinks, 3000. It's going to give you a nice chart of what's going on with the site. Generally right now we're going through a, quite a bit of losing of backlinks right now, no gains, top backlinks and so forth. We can come through here and you can actually look right over here. Looks like we got a nice wrestling weight loss, um, backlink right there from a DA 80. That's really cool and so forth. So you can pretty much get anything you need done from an SEO standpoint, for the most part in Uber suggest. And that's what I like about it. There's a labs, there's a keywords generator, AI generator, keyword visual visualization. I have not actually seen or used that one before. Let's see right here, get a detailed keyword overview, camping tips. I'm just going to put that one in real quick. And then we're going to move on to CO today real fast guys. And sometimes one of my complaints about Uber suggests is that it, it's not buggy, but it's kind of slow. Sometimes it's slow to get to sign in and to actually get into the tool. And I get it. There's probably a, you know, a couple hundred thousand people using the tool at once. It's just taking up massive bandwidth. It does have a, a massive keyword database as well. And so, but sometimes it's just kind of like slow and kind of choppy if you will and those are some of the things that i don't like about it but here is the okay so it's kind of like answer the public or something like that camping tips you can see it from a visual perspective you know where when and certain ways to look at it so like a visual map or you can look at the data and it's going to provide the data like this so pretty cool stuff let's go move over to coded real quick i have one of my sites in here and so forth now this is the projects where you can manage and add different projects, resources used, and you can upgrade and so forth. Okay. This is kind of what it looks like. We can go into our project over here. And once you put in your project, this is one of the things I don't like about COD, but I just need to get over it is that they do a domain rank, but it's just like a, a score from like zero to a thousand. I'm pretty sure it's a zero to a thousand score. So we know that my, I have a DA of, of 10 from the Moz tool. And it's saying 163 right here. So there's just a, you'd have to kind of understand the ranges. But for me personally growing, just kind of like when I learned anything about SEO, it was always the domain authority. So like this might go back to the way of, cause I reached out to them actually. And they, they said something about the original way of checking this stuff was this way, but I don't know anyone and I never even seen it. That this is the way that you actually check sites. So this isn't very helpful to me, the domain rank. I just know that I have a low domain rank, but if it goes up to like four or 500, you know, you're doing good and so forth, right? Organic traffic, 125, come back over here. I guess some of the comparisons, I guess. So this is basically saying that we're at 30 right here. But COD is telling us we're getting 125. I think that this is probably more accurate as far as just the traffic. So that's good. Backlinks 571. But then over here, this tool apparently is measuring over 3000 backlinks on the site. Referring domains 96. And where was that at? Not really sure where. Oh, I think if I click on backlinks overview. Referring domains 140 and 96. Okay. So as you can see, you just from one tool to another, you're, it's not, it's never going to match up or be, you know, accurate or whatever. You can go and click in and it does this kind of iframe thing over here, which is, I'm going to go ahead and check more on organic traffic. So then it's going to just pull you over to the organic traffic area. It's going to give you this nice chart of where you're at with where you're ranking with your keywords right here and new lost up and down. And then this is just going to be kind of where your keywords are. Really, I, I do like the cleanliness 
and the ease and the speed of COD. It's very, very crisp and very fast. I really like that. So that is kind of how you would just look at the organic traffic and then paid traffic. We're going to skip. We didn't talk much about that over there on the other tool, but we're going to go to on site over here. So we have 101 errors, 279 warnings, 86 notices, and it's already kind of auditing this. I don't know when the last time I audited this, but you have your social tags, your HTML tags, images. You might, so those are the ones that you really need to fix, right? These are just notices and then these would just be, these would be your warnings. So you definitely want to spend your time on this tool over here. You can actually pull a report and it'll probably create a PDF report for you if you're doing client work as well. So right here we would want to, so like right here, page has no follow outgoing internal links. Somehow I don't really know how we're going to fix that, but you are going to push on the info tab right here. Why is it bad? There are pages that are linked to other internal pages of your website using a no follow link. Okay. So I'd have to fix that. So all in all, I mean, this is going to be a pretty good show affected pages in the Explorer. So you actually click on that. And then if you're just working on this right here, so these shouldn't even be pages because, so this is something that I really need to look at in my website because I use the title of the blog for, so I don't know if this is just because you always have kind of a code like this. I need to check and see if these are just pages um, that I, okay. So right here, real ways. To, yeah. Mm, uh, yeah. Okay. So anyways, this looks like it could be very, very useful. The on-site audit looks like it could be very useful in this tool. Content Explorer in COTD. This is where you can put in your competitors. Let's see right here. We can put in a site right here and we can add even more people. Click to add more. So I've added in a couple of competitors right here. And this is saying that this page right here is ranking for 2000 keywords. It's getting 37,000 estimated traffic score right there. It doesn't look like they're running any paid ads to their top pages right there. And let's see what we can do over here with presets traffic above 1000. Okay. And filters right here, greater than you've got your filters right here as well. So. This is just going to do some competitor analysis on what the top pages are. And then you can go in and you can actually look at the keywords that they're ranking for. That's crazy. Domain compa comparison right here. You can just quickly get an overview of the two sites, which how many keywords they're ranking for, how much traffic, obviously site isolation is, is, is the much bigger site by eight times and so forth. So top 10 and top 100 right there. So then you can put your site in here as well and just see where you stand. So I think that that's really cool too. So, <laughs> so we put one in right there. It's going to tell you how much work you have to go to get to where they're at. Really, really sad to look at that. We've got a lot of work to do, but just kind of put some, just to kind of put some perspective on where your site is. I recommend finding some sites that are much, much smaller that are, you know, doing really well at getting more traffic than you. If you can find some sites in your niche that are the same domain authority or even less domain authority than you, but then they're getting more traffic and they're ranking for more keywords, then that's who you really want to kind of go after and see if there's any low hanging fruit on those sites that you can go after, right? Cause something they're doing something right because they're getting more traffic than you and so forth. Right? So that's a good way to use that tool. Rank tracker, you can come through here and you can see it's going to be a nice, um, easy to easy to use rank tracker difficulty level cost per click it's going to be the change up or down the url and the rank so we're just tracking a few keywords right here so good stuff and keyword research so this is the this is more or less the the way that i judge most seo tools is is basically i'm going to say camping right here i'm just going to say search keywords and it found 334,000 words. And I believe if we go back over here, it's just kind of a comparison to see what the database of what you're using is, right? So under camping, we come down here, go view all keywords, and we're looking at, we're looking at 823,000 keywords over here in Uber Suggest. Come over here to Ciotity and we have 334,000. So more than, more than double. We're looking at about 
not quite three times, but about 2.5 times more keywords in the database of Ubersuggest that you're going, than you're going to find over here in Seodity. So you just need to keep that in mind. You're not going to get all the information that you that you're looking for in this tool. You are going to get. I mean, this is a faster and just maybe even just a little bit easier tool to use, Seodity. But some of the things that I don't like is like the filtering. There's not a whole lot of filtering that we can do. So, okay, so we can go right, right over here. So filters, we got the 300,000. There are some presets right here. I don't know if we can set our own presets, but I'm going to go and do filter column. Let's go. We want KD. They make it a kind of, you know, too many steps just to put in a KD filter. I think that you should be able to do it, you know, a little easier than this, but I'm going to go between zero and 20 save. So now we're looking at keyword difficulties of zero to 20. Okay. So we only have like out of 330,000 keywords, there's only, there's only a few that to me, it just does not make any sense, but let's go back in to the filter, <clears throat> add 50, maybe results on the page. I'm going to say 200. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I, I looked at that wrong. So there's 126,000 right there. I'm going to go back to the filter. We'll go back to, I just want to say 10 and see what that looks like. All right. So we have a thousand keywords that are zero to 10 that we could go and check out. We have the search volume right here. So you could add another, we can add search volume and search volume. I want between 10 and 1000 save. So we just added another filter, but it took the other filter away. So, um, and I might've been doing that wrong, but it's not user friendly. I want to add two filters, right? So maybe, okay. So I, I did that wrong. You have to push the plus button over here, but I still think that it needs to be a little easier to be able to do this. How hard would it be? They've got so much room in real estate on this. Look at, look at all this right here, guys, all this blank space right here could be used for, for just filter options. Make this easy for people. Okay. So that's, that's just a little complaint. Okay. It'd be just e a lot easier if you would just make the filter option easier because now I need to go through here and add my keyword keyword difficulty. So I added in two custom filters right here and we're looking at a thousand words right here and with low key KDs. And so what you could do is you could export that. And I'm not really sure how we would export all of them. I guess if we push the export button, push the CSV generate, and we let's see if we can get the thousand rows, hopefully. All right. So it downloaded over here, keyword suggestions. I'm going to pop that open real guys, quick guys. And what are we looking at over here? So we have this, it gave us 200 words. So we weren't able to get all of the, the words downloaded. It's also not nicely formatted in any way, shape or form. Oh, we have to do more work to try to separate this text to columns and do formatting that most people do not know how to do. So this is not useful at all. And it only pulled 200 keywords. So that part right there, I don't really like just to be honest, there's gotta be a way to, to select all these. And I'm just not seeing a way to select all words to make sure. And it's only letting us get a max of 200 right now. So you'd have to go through and grab, do this five times, then combine the data. But the way that it spits out the data, it just is not, does is not very useful. So, so that's the keyword research function right there, guys. And then there's backlinks. It's going to tell us uh, different charts and so forth. So I think this tool definitely can be helpful. Here's different backlinks on your site it can be helpful. It's a little slicker, faster, but it's definitely not as powerful as Uber suggest. Like I said, I own both of these tools. I have no reason to be biased whatsoever. I know a lot of you picked up COD. I think that you have to stick with them. They're going to continue to get better on the tool to where this can get closer and closer to AH refs and, and Uber suggest and things like that. But if we're looking at an Uber suggest versus COD from just the standpoint of ease of use and the ability to actually use the data that you are looking at. I think Uber suggests absolutely wins. I think it come in, in, in some respects, it crushes COD with almost three times the amount of keywords that it's going to find for any given keyword. It's got a bigger keyword database, but it's got an easier filtering. I mean, if you want to do really quick research, you're going to do that much better in Uber suggest because you're able to just find these quick presets 
and find what you're looking for. The filtering, the exporting is going to be way easier. And then my favorite part is that you're able to go and do a drop down and actually do analysis on a keyword that you're really serious about. You can actually see all their domain authority and their backlinks and see if it if that's something that you want to go for. So I just think that it's it's a more de it's obviously a more developed tool, so it might not be fair. Like I said, there's good things about Seodity. I think it's worth keeping the tool and sticking around. I think that like it has a really good interface, it's fast, but it has a long ways to go in order to get on the same level as a tool like Uber Suggest. I think Uber Suggest is the best giant SEO tool that you can get for the for the price. Especially, I definitely recommend picking up the lifetime deal so you don't have to pay again. I wish I had an affiliate link. I don't. But uh, if I had to choose between these two, it would definitely be Uber Suggest. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, do me a favor, just hit that like button. It really helps. And I will see you in the next video.